when I look at real world problems, it, we've got hundreds, I mean thousands of real world problems. And, and so which one do I pick out as my favorite that we're working on? Um, and, and I think the one that I would like to highlight is the elderly. Right? So when you look at the elderly, it's harder and harder for people to continue to live beyond a certain age and, and how do we make their lives easier, how they, they stay in their homes longer, how do they continue to have a fulfilling life beyond their, their work life. Um, and so a project we're working on actually in Bolzano is, um, is creating a, a technology fabric which makes it easier for care providers to help those elderly stay in the homes, stay connected with their families uh, and continue to feel a real part of society um, even though they're, they're obviously getting older. Think about a school kid. They're at school, they're tweeting. You know, they've just come out of a classroom, they enjoyed English, they hated English, they played football and their best friend kicked them and they hate the world. Right? The, those kind of conversations going on, which are relevant to the, the elderly person, it's a grandchild, they're disconnected from. By being connected into that digital world, all, of, all of a sudden they're part of their grandchild's life. So when the grandchild comes to see them, they have a much more enriched conversation they wouldn't be able to have otherwise. So sometimes technology, if used in the right way, can bring people together and bind lives in ways that you couldn't imagine. Using data for innovation is one of the, the magic uh, you know, um, dreams that everybody has. And they think because they've got a big pile of data, the more data they have, the more likely they are to innovate. But in reality, it's, it's like finding needles in a haystack. So the way we look at this journey of, of creating value from data is through a few simple equations. Firstly, you've got to do some analysis on the data and make it understandable. So you draw as much meaning as you can out of that data. But then that data, the, the analysis, the information you get from that analysis has got to be put into a context. And that context needs to be complete and, and well understood so that the, the data can give you real insights. And then ultimately you've got to have an outcome. So going back to my example of the elderly living in the home, you wouldn't naturally think that monitoring their water patterns would be of, of great value. But in reality, from, from lots of big data analysis, you find that the water usage pattern is a very clear signature on an individual's health. And as soon as they start using the water patterns in different ways, you, you've got a pretty good idea that something's changed and they're probably come, becoming ill very soon. So that's an example of how big data analysis put in the right context can provide you new insights that you can really act on.